Okay, great. Um, I'm Susan Cache, and I'm here with Lewis Rollins, and um, we decided to do a series of podcasts, uh, mostly for people that are beginning the program, but it can definitely be a refresher for anybody who's following a nutritional balancing program. Um, what we found is that, especially for new clients, it can be a little bit overwhelming. Um, so what we're going to be doing is breaking things down into different sections, different aspects of the program, just to hit on main key points um, that, that we feel are important for people to be aware of when they're starting and, and to sort of help them along the path, along this journey that, uh, that does entail quite a lot. So the first thing that we wanted to talk about was just basically getting started. Um, when you start on the program and you get back your supplement recommendations from your practitioner, which is Dr. Wilson has recommended, um, the, the program is laid out in full, meaning that everything, 100% of the program is recommended. And um, for some people, that works fine. Probably for 75% of the people that I work with, if they jump in and they do everything, everything just flows and they're good to go. Well, there's probably about 25% of people that I work with that are very sensitive. And so I always recommend with all of my clients that they start more slowly and just ease into the program more slowly. So this is something that you would want to discuss with your practitioner on what to start with, how to start, how to ease into the program. Um, definitely the most important aspects to start with would be diet, lifestyle, and water. Um, so, so starting with those is really important and we'll go into more detail in those different sections on how to do that. Um, and even with the supplement recommendations, so even though you're getting the full recommendations, especially if you know that you're a sensitive person, please do not start with the, the full supplements. Um, and the schedule that I normally recommend with my clients is when you're starting, start with just one of each of the supplements just once per day. Always take your supplements with food. Um, some people that have digestive issues, I know this is a little bit of a pain, but grinding the supplements and mixing them with food can actually make them more absorbable um, and, and easy, more easily tolerated. Um, so start with that once per day. Do that for a few days. Let your body adjust. See how you do. If you're fine with that over about three days or so, increase to take one dose of the supplements twice per day with your meals. Again, do that for three or four days. If you're fine with that, then increase to the three times per day. And then sometimes for some people, there's more than one of each supplement recommended, then slowly start to increase. So really, people should be taking three weeks or so to get up to the full dose. And if you reach a point where you go, you know, I felt better, I was on less and things were going a bit more smoothly, I've hit a rough spot. Get in touch with your practitioner and you know hold it there. Don't feel like you've got to necessarily push yourself over to the, to the, the full dose if you feel like your body is more sensitive and you can't, you, you can't handle that. Cool. Um, so modifying, modifying as you go. Brilliant. All right, so the next thing really in terms of getting started is it's so important to understand about healing reactions. Now, healing reactions are a huge part of nutritional balancing, and uh, people really get st stumble up when it comes to healing reactions because they don't understand them well enough. It's important to realize that when you start a nutritional balancing program, you are going to experience what we call healing reactions. When the body gets super sick, it basically builds up various toxins and chemicals that are holding a person back. And at some point, them toxins and chemicals are going to have to come out of the system. And the nutritional balancing program is basically a detox system, and it's designed to do that. So one thing that's super, super important to realize is not to jump into the program um, head first because it can get very, very overwhelming when a big healing reaction comes up. So it's important, as Susan said, to take things step one step at a time and to fully understand healing reactions by reading the articles, watching YouTube videos, speaking to your practitioner and speaking to any support networks that your practitioner has set up so you understand what's likely to happen when you begin a nutrition balancing program. Perfect. Um, next point is when to get in touch with your practitioner. I find that... Um, 
when people first start the program, they probably need me more than they do when they're in the flow of things and things have progressed all the way along. So I generally encourage people to get in touch with me when they need to, um, you know, as often as they need to at the beginning. Sometimes it's just short little questions and I'd rather have people ask me than, than sort of wonder and, and guess and do their own thing. So don't hesitate to get in touch with your practitioner and ask them if you need to. Um, normally we do try to go through things very thoroughly at the beginning, but definitely get in touch. Um, if you feel like you are um, intuitively going through something that you need extra support with, that's another time to get in touch with your practitioner. And, um, and just for me, I like to touch in with clients every so often, even if things are going well, to say, you know what, things are as they should be. So I don't know if you have anything to add to that. No, that's fantastic. Amazing. Okay. Um, the next thing that we wanted to talk about is the fact that the Nutrition Balancing Program, uh, in reality, is actually much bigger than probably the information, the main information you're going to get when you first begin the program. Healing is not necessarily just about diet or detox or meditation. Those are really big parts of the program, but there's other things involved that you need to be aware of and, and that are going to help you move through the program and become more happier and more content people. Now, Dr. Wilson's website has over, I think, around 1,600 articles, maybe more. Um, he's constantly adding articles all the time. And one thing that really, really helped me and I know that helps other people when they do the program is to really get stuck into these articles because they will help you in so many different ways. Um, Dr. Wilson talks about a variety of different things. Um, if you're more spiritually orientated, he talks about the spiritual sides of life. Um, he talks about economics. Um, he talks about being grounded. All of these things are very important to to understand, to read, to get to know if you want to become a fully self-actualized, healthy human. Um, so as we've moved along the program, we found a few articles uh, that are very, very good for people to, uh, to read and to understand um, that's just going to help you along the whole process of, of basically healing and getting to know this like amazing program. So we've just listed a few here that are going to be really good for you guys to to, to look into. The easiest way to find these is just to Google it. If you just type in Dr. L. Wilson and then um, happiness or healing reactions, you will find the articles I'm gonna talk about. So the first one we've got on here is healing reactions. As I've just mentioned, they're so important. Uh, if you don't get to terms with healing reactions and how they work, it's gonna be a huge stumbling block for you. So that's the main article, the first article really that we want people to kind of read um, aside from the main ones in the in the nutrition balancing program. The second one we've got in there is an article called Letting Go. Um, the thing is, when you're going through life, uh, in reality, it's not necessarily about adding things onto your life. It's about letting things go. This can be just material wealth. It can be friends. It can be emotions. It can be trauma. So letting go actually makes you more healthy and more mature. So that's a brilliant article. The third one is called The Healing Manual. And it's basically a manual. It's got around 16 steps on it. And it's the quickest way to heal yourself and become developed um, in life. So it's not only the nutrition balancing program, but it's life tips. Talking about things like reading certain books that are going to really enhance your life. Um, it talks about things like the importance of cleanliness. Um, it talks about happiness. So it kind of step-by-step -step guide of priorities uh, that you really need to be fully aware of to become self-actualized. Um, the fourth one is happiness, something that we're all wanting to achieve. In many ways, it's what life's all about in um, a lot of aspects. It's just being happy. So that's a great article to read. Um, the next one is service. Uh, one of the things that really gives us much fulfillment as human beings is to serve others. In reality, we're all connected on one level. Um, even the animals and the plants and the whole universe. And what gives us a lot of joy is being of service to others. So as you heal, you'll probably naturally want to be of service. So it's good to get to know the aspects of becoming um, a great provider for other people. Um, the next one is called the real self. This is one that spiritually oriented people absolutely love and adore because it talks about who we are as souls 
um, which is the truth. And it talks about kind of um, the real humans deep down. If you're interested in religion um, or you are more alternative or you're the type of person who tends to think outside the box, definitely check out that article. That was a godsend to me and many other people. Mm -hmm. and the next one is victimhood. Um, people these days have this victim mentality. It's nothing to be ashamed of. Um, it's easy to get into this way of thinking, blaming parents, blaming friends, blaming society. But the way to really heal and overcome things in life is to take full responsibility for yourself. So reading that article is a good step forward in achieving that. And the last one is cleanliness. Cleanliness is so, so important. Um, just looking after various household products, um, how to clean yourself, um, how to look after your environment is all going to contribute to your health. So they're great articles to get started with. As I say, just type it in on Google, Dr. L. Wilson, and type in the title of the article and you'll come across them. Um, but you'll find that they'll really help you out. And it'll, it's, it's, a, it's a step into Dr. Wilson's website because once you get in there, you'll probably get into some article wormhole where you'll discover all sorts of amazing information. Wonderful. Okay, so the next point I wanted to talk about, um, I think is a really important point as well, is um, getting started without feeling a totally overwhelmed. And this is a really important piece for people that are sensitive as well. So it applies both for people that, um, you know, are parents and are working and look at this program and go, I can't possibly do this program because I just don't have time. So some people who are doing the program are able to take time out of sort of their, their work life um, or don't have a family to look after and they can just focus on healing, which is wonderful. But a lot of people don't. And so um, one of the ways to break it down is to say, okay, well, to set up kind of a schedule. And again, relating to people that are sensitive, they may need to do this as well. The program may work better for them doing this. Um, you know, some people can't do a sauna every day or they can't do the pulling down exercise every day. So I find that as long as people are consistent with what they're doing, they are still going to shift and change and heal. So, and some people, again, being very sensitive, they just can't handle doing all of the procedures every day. It's too much. It brings on too much of a healing reaction. They're dumping too much and it's too overwhelming. So the way to go about that is to A, start slowly, but B, set up a schedule and then try to stick it with it the best you can. So if you find that because you're sensitive or because of work and other obligations, family, that you can't do a sauna or sauna light every day, do one every second day or every third day if that fits your schedule. If you can't do coffee enemas every day, same thing, set up a schedule. So I have some clients that will rotate every day what they do. So they'll do a sauna one day on day one, day two they'll do the coffee enema, day three will be their pulling down exercise day, and they'll go on a cycle and rotate like that. Now some people can double up, meaning if you're doing the sauna or the sauna light, you can do the pulling down exercise at the same time. You can do one of the procedures in the morning, one of them at night. Set up what works for you. It's not going to be the same for everybody. So even though there are general recommendations on the program, um, and it's wonderful when people can do everything, but don't feel obligated that it's either all or nothing. Like I find that I work with some people that get into this mindset where they say, I can't possibly do that program because I can't fit everything in every day. You don't have to. If that doesn't work for you. Like I said, as long as you're setting up a schedule and you're maintaining that and being consistent, you are going to see excellent progress. You're still going to develop. You're still going to heal. And, uh, and again, that is something that you can work with your practitioner on and, um, and just set up, set up what works. Cool. And, and it's the same. Oh, sorry. I was just going to say, and it's the same with the supplements. So getting back to people that are sensitive, Sometimes I'll find that people will go, well, no, I have to take the supplements three times per day. And we'll talk about this more in supplements. But again, if you set up a schedule in terms of what works for you, if you're at a place where once a day works for you and any more than that really throws you into a big healing reaction that's overwhelming, sticking with once a day, if you're consistent with that, is going to work. Cool. And just quickly if you are in a position where you can kind of do stuff more easily got more time 
Yeah. Uh, there is a really good article on Dr. Wilson's website called The Morning Spa Routine, which yes. is, is, kind of, yeah. is perfect, um, yeah. you know, layout of doing the program in the morning. And if you get up at early on, six, seven o'clock in the morning, you can kind of get a lot of stuff done in two, three hours. That's you know, right. So yeah. worry about it too much. I think it's so easy to, under, to, to, to look at the program and think there's no way I can do all this. I haven't yeah. got enough time in the day. But once you start figuring out little tips and tricks, for example, you can cut all your food up in the morning, put in a big pressure cooker, six liter pressure cooker, that then you've got your food for the whole day. You can double up on the pushy down exercise and the coffee enemas. Um, yeah. You can um, heat up the sauna while you're doing the coffee enema. You know, so as you begin the program, you'll start to find little tips and tricks that are going to help you through the day, basically. Exactly. And just even getting more familiar with the procedures over time, I find that people can fit in more into one day. Um, so yeah, so it depends on your schedule. Working people with children makes it a little bit more challenging. And that's why sometimes the rotation works nicely. But yeah, either, either way, depending on a person's individuality. Um, great. Awesome. So the next one we want to talk about is getting support counseling now a lot of people have traumas um, that they need to deal with and it's absolutely fine to get in touch with support counselors in order to talk about these often very complex situations also when you're doing the program the way the program works is that we believe that by giving the body what it needs all traumas will tend to rise to the surface so sometimes all of a sudden you'll get this trauma that will just come up and you kind of feel overwhelmed. You don't really know what to do about it. So the best thing to do is to get in touch with your practitioner. Some of the practitioners are um, trained in counseling, but there is a section on Dr. Wilson's website uh, specifically for counselors that Dr. Wilson recommends. And it's always really, really good to get that extra support if you're going through something extremely traumatic. Um, so don't hesitate to get in touch with your practitioner if you feel like that's something that you need. So that's it for getting started. Uh, the main premises really is just don't jump into things in the deep end. It's just good to take things step by step and be in close contact with your practitioner. Uh, they can guide you through it. They can tell you about the best things to do in the right amount of times and on days if you need to. If you're struggling with any sorts of trauma, get in touch with, with your practitioner. The next section is diet and water, so stay tuned for that, and we'll speak to you in the next video.